Bill Canada, looking at the WCW locker room in 1998, you've got Perry Saturn, Fit Finley, Rick Steiner, Meng, Barbarian, Scott Norton, Jim Duggan. Who's the toughest? Who's a poser? Who's the last man standing in a fight? We dealt with the other two. Who's the last man standing there? Saturn, Finley, Steiner, Meng, Barbarian, Norton, Duggan. Tonga. Tonga for sure. No, there's no, not even a question. And then Barbarian would survive. He might be the only one Tonga didn't kill, kill, but none of us would stand a chance against Ming. Okay. <laughs> there wouldn't stand a chance against him. All right, this chapter. And he's the nicest guy in the world, too. Like. Polite, friendly, loving, happy. Mm -hmm. And he would literally kill every one of us in the blink of an eye, and there wouldn't be nothing we could do about it. The list goes on, on my uncle King Tonga. I mean, there was. Oh, just, King Tonga was yeah, your uncle? Remember him? Yeah. yeah, I do remember he, him. Yeah. And, uh, and arguably one of the toughest men. Uh, you mean in real life? In, in real I... life in pro wrestling. Who was the greatest badass in, in your opinion? Uh, Haku. <laughs> For sure. That's easy. There's one man comes to mind. His name is Ming. People also know him as Haku. Haku is of Tongan descent. Some people think he's Samoan, but he's Tongan. And everybody knows, anybody in the business, when you ask who the toughest sunbuck was, everybody to a man will say Ming or Haku was the man. And that, don't get me wrong, there's been some total badasses in the history of pro wrestling. Give respect to all of them. Haku, Harley Race, Nick Slater. I was going to ask you your opinion of who's the toughest guy, and a lot of people say Haku is the number one toughest guy. Yeah, are you kidding me? He eats people. I've seen him bite a barbarian and his nose off. I've heard that story. I'm sorry, Haku. <laughs> Me and barbarians were made a huge splash in the MMA world. I mean, I don't know of a human being alive that could take out Ming in his prize. Nice. Um, but I really don't. I mean... And I think of all the guys in the business, if somebody said to me, put your hand to the fire, who's the toughest of them all? I would have to say Haku. You know, I get asked the question all the time about Haku, is he the toughest guy you ever wrestled? And yeah, he is the toughest guy I ever wrestled, but he's also the best person I've ever wrestled. People don't understand the man. He's one of the best people I've ever met in my life. Right. So, yeah, that's that was Haku. Haku, I would say, if there's anybody in a wrestling business I would never I'd want to have to fight, it would be Haku. Right. Let me ask you an honest question. How is it on WrestleMania stage, get, knowing that you're going in the ring with two of the toughest guys in the business, Haku and Andre the Giant? Thank God we were friends. <laughs> that's the bottom line. If we weren't friends with them, it would have been a brutal deal. And if you had to pick one, who do you think was the toughest of the two, Haku or Andre? That'd be a tough question. I, 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 I'd hate to have to make that decision. I guess since Haku's still alive, we'll have to say him. <laughs> yes, we love them both. WCW, I mean, you got Haku, man. You don't mess with that guy, you know. At that point, I didn't want to mess with me because that would have been a mistake, I think. He's one of the people that... It's uh, you know what? He, not only was he fresh, I just kept on fighting, but no, nah, you don't want to mess with me. You know, I'm the hot. Haku was, listen, he was, a, I tell you, he gave his shirt off his back. He, but he just didn't want to end up saying something wrong or be on his bad side one time. So his reputation is safe. He's oh, basically yeah. the toughest guy you've yeah, ever seen behind the scenes. Him and then Barbarian right behind him. Barbarian right behind right him. Right behind him. Haku's in his own league. He is in his own category. He is an incredible athlete. He was 300-pound tank. Didn't feel any pain. And if you pissed him off, no one know, knew what he was going to do, but he knew it was going to be quick and over quickly. And we call, you know, I called him the human vegematic. He would step into a guy. You couldn't see around his back because it was so wide. And whatever he did, Five seconds later, the guy looked like he had had his head shoved in a window fan. And I saw probably three instances of things like that. He's just, he's just a beast. And he's, if, if he chose to be, Ming would be the world champion right now, and he would have no contenders, period. Up here, Haku told me recently 
that he's not sure if he would still be arrested if he ever came back to Puerto Rico due to, I guess, some of his his barroom antics there. Do you think well, if he came back, they would hassle him still, or is that forgotten? I don't think, because there's a Commonwealth, I don't think that has expired. The other things, I was involved with him in a couple of things. That guy saved my life. Well, maybe next time. There was a riot that Bruce Lee looked like a little kid compared to the stuff that my eyes saw <laughs> and he was chopping guys like the Bruce Lee movies. I never seen some somebody do so many spin kicks, boom, 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 and just people flying all over the place. At the Legends lunch, I noticed that you and Ming were very close. Very, very close, because when he came over here, he lived with me okay. in, in Tampa, and he was only 18 years old, and he spoke very little English. Did you ever uh, see one of his infamous uh, barroom altercations? I've seen a couple of them. Could you share her any of those? Yeah, where it take 10 guys to beat him, he go to you like a dose of some salts. He was a tough guy. Would you say that he's probably the toughest or one of the top three? I would guys? say he'd be the top three. I would, if I had to pick anybody, I'd pick him. Okay. Who would the other two be if you put? i say Harley Race was tough. Yeah. Very tough. Kids, I got nothing bad to say about Ming. And uh, like, I, like most probably everybody you've interviewed has said, uh, probably other than Barbarian, the toughest guy, and Barbarian and Ming would have to fight to see who's, who's, who's tougher, but the two toughest guys probably in the business history. Okay, and let me tell you this, as far as having heat with Ming, nobody got Ming mad. First of all, he was mad cool as f number one, plus everyone, and I mean everyone, knew he was the baddest mother in that dressing room, okay? So there was nobody going to have any heat with him. Do you have any stories on Haku? Haku is one of the toughest son of a bitches you'll ever meet. Now he's uh, a general manager of a car dealership. So if you don't buy a car, he will kill you. No. <laughs> <laughs> all the people I've met throughout my life, you know, all sports. And, and you know, I play college football and I know a lot of players, you know, that play in the NFL. And, and, you know, all the tough wrestlers, but honest to God, Haku, out of all the people I've ever met, was the baddest guy as far as, you know, fighting, because it wasn't a matter of, you know, fighting with him. It was a matter of life and death. I mean, Haku is like, you know, he's legitimately the most scariest man in professional wrestling. Scary deal. A lot of people say he would have done well in MMA, but from the stories I hear, he's doing a lot of tactics that would be considered illegal in competitive sports. Yeah, so yeah. I was wondering what your opinion is on well, how he would fight in, in a real sport. Oh my God, I can't imagine. I, I, you know, your best defense on that is what we tell all our martial arts students is, is to, to, to turn and run fast as you can. Because I don't know, aside from having, you know, sharp blades or a firearm I, I i wouldn't know how you know because you couldn't hit them with a stick they'll look at you you know those guys break coconut with their head when they were young so you know i mean he, he literally I, I i think that man would literally rip you in a half with his bare hand thoughts on haku haku yeah class man Class man, toughest one, toughest man I've ever met in my life. But he has a real good heart for people. And all he wants to do is just work and feed his family. Tonga. Tonga. Yeah, Tonga son, yeah. He great, man. We hung out we hung out uh, all the time every time he was over there, you know, on, on the tour. And you yeah, that is a scary human being. But he's also the nicest guy in the world. Man, he would give you the shirt off his back and give you your give you his pants and his shoes you know and he'd go he would go home naked just, <laughs> just to make sure you you were happy you were comfortable you know why do you think people mess with him so much over the years in the bars where he looks like he does and he's so dangerous because they're stupid people are stupid especially when they get liquid courage yeah you know and you can get a bunch of liquid courage and you wake up in the hospital <laughs> <laughs> he's just he, he's a frightening person man but he's the nicest guy in the world when I said uh, Ming is Ming and he's that is what, he is what he is 
that's uh, that's what I still stand. I mean, the guy's a cool dude. He's a, a legend, and uh, he is what he is, man. Uh, no one's gonna argue with him, from what I understand. King Tongue got to let you know. I'm gonna tell you the truth. If you have a chance to go to hell instead, you might as well go to hell because he's unbelievable. I've seen. Interviewing you is something I've looked forward to and also sort of dreaded for quite some time because you've been described by your peers as the, the most toughest, the, the, the most legitimate fighter in history. What is that like being called that by so many of your wrestling peers? <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I guess I should say I appreciate that they honour me with that. You know. It's fair to say your reputation precedes you. Um, what is the strangest rumour you've heard about yourself? Strangest <laughs> They can be true or false. I mean, uh, all of them, but it's uh, all true. You know, I can't even, uh, you know, count my stupidity. <laughs>